Who are you? Wait a second. I don't recognize you. Yeah, I see you, man. And I see you. Well. What are you doing here? Well, if you're gonna be here, you know what you need to do? Hang, Hang on, on for the loop! Three, two, one. Ricky. I'm Jamie, and we want to know your name. So on the count of three, shout out your name. One, two, three. Ricky. Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, I already know your name, but I want to know their name. Well, you think you know me, Jamie, and we're going to see how well you know me in this week's challenge. Challenge accepted. So this is The Loop Show. Welcome to our place. And welcome to your place. We want to hear from you. Leave us a comment in the comment section. Write us a postcard. Leave us a message and some latte art. Toast a message and a piece of toast and send it to us. Now this one requires a little bit of work. You need to find a dog, uh, mm -hmm. shave a message into the dog, and then just whisper, go to the Loop Show, and we'll find it. But if you don't have any of that stuff, just write us a postcard. Here on the Loop Show, we do lots of challenges, but we also dig deeper. We learn all the basic skills to help get you through life. We learned so many life skills, we've started earning merit badges. <gasps> <gasps> oh my goodness. <gasps> Whoa! Merit badges! Yeah! Ooh, this one is one of my favorite ones. This is for a drive that I had for vision impaired owls. Oh, and you remember this one? <gasps> yes! I got second place in a fry eating contest. Who got first? It's you, Jamie. And then up here, I got this planet for being able to say all the planet's names. Do it right now. There's Pluto, there's Mars, there's Uranus. <laughs> I think you're saying it wrong. <laughs> and this one down here, it's an ice cream cone that says too cool for school. And I, in fact, got this for being too cool for school. That's so, yeah, because you graduated <laughs> early. That's awesome. I got grapefruit, a lollipop. Oh, and I got this one for introducing life hacks. <gasps> what a great idea. Let's learn a new life hack. Requirements. One, learn a sturdy handshake. Two, practice your greetings. Three, don't be squirrely. Hi, I'm Nicole, and I'm here to give you some hacks that will help you ace that first impression. Let's go. The first part of a first impression is the first look. When you're meeting someone for the first time, make sure that you stand up straight with your shoulders back in a confident stance slouching, crossing your chest, or crossing your hands in front, this will show that you're closed off or send the message that you're nervous and unopened to conversation. Part two of a good first impression, the classic handshake. Now this may seem like something small, but a handshake can tell a lot about a person. When you're meeting someone for the first time and they go for the classic handshake, make sure you stick your arm out straight with your hand open. And when you shake their hand, give their hand a little squeeze. Not too hard, but a firm handshake will show that you're confident and ready for engagement. Part three of a good first impression, eye contact. When you keep your eye on the person talking instead of other people in the room, or in my case, the food table, you know, it'll tell the person talking that you're interested and engaged with what they have to say. Which leads us into our last and final hack of making good first impression, listening. When you're speaking to someone and you let them talk about themselves and you actively listen and hear what they have to say and ask questions, this shows to them that you're interested and in turn, they'll be more interested in you. Bonus points if you ask questions. And if you do, they're sure to love you. And now that you have all the tools, go out and make some great first impressions. And I'm gonna go hit that food table. Bye! We learned something new today. We learned something new. The perfect no-look handshake. It's how we earned our merit badge. All right, now we are going to do a challenge to earn another merit badge. Who am I challenge? We surveyed both of you with questions that help us get to know you a little better. On the board, you'll see one answer that is true about your partner and one answer that we made up. If you guess that your partner said correctly, you get a point for knowing them so well. The host who knows the most about the other person wins a special prize. You think you're gonna win, Jamie? Of course. All right, so this first one is about me. Oh, great. So. All right, if you came with a warning label, what would yours say? Handle with extreme care may contain explosive laughter. For sure, may contain explosive laughter. You are 
Incorrect. What? Handle with extreme care. I'm very sensitive. I had no idea. Yeah. Oh, well, I learned something new. So this is about you. If you could time travel in only one direction, would you rather go forward or backward in time? Forwards, I'd love to see what diseases we cure, or backwards, I'd love to visit the 50s. Okay, I'm going to guess the 50s. You're so right. Yeah! <laughs> It'd be so fun to like wear a poodle skirt and drink milkshakes. What would be the title of your autobiography? Under the hat, a slice of life. That's really hard because you always wear hats and I know you like pizza. Um, I'm gonna say a slice of life. Ah, oh, you did it! Yay, that's very that's good. So what is one thing you will never do again? Okay, get my eyebrows threaded uh, or go water skiing. I'm gonna say go water skiing. Oh! Get my eyebrows threaded! <laughs> yes, it's so painful. They actually use thread to wax your eyebrows. It's miserable. Oh, Don't no. do it. Okay. Yeah. What is one of your biggest pet peeves? When servers get my order wrong after I specifically ask them not to, when I mispronounce a word and someone makes fun of me for it. Oh, well, I would say when I mispronounce a word and someone makes fun of me for it. What? I am getting all of these wrong. It's I would okay. Never Hey, no pickles, and then pickles show up on my food, and it fills me with a rage. I don't like conflict, yeah. so I'll just suck it up and not Aww. do anything about it. So I, I'm not going to be able, okay, kind of, or just not eat it and I'm just so be a sorry. weirdo about it. So for you, what is one of your biggest pet peeves? People being rude to servers or people who litter? <laughs> I'm going to guess people being rude to servers. Yes, I cannot <laughs> believe that that was your thing that you said. Oh my gosh. I, I have I have been a server, uh, but you know I try to get people's orders right. Listen, I I have nothing against servers, but when I have a pickle on my plate, it's my problem to deal with, and I hate that feeling. That totally makes sense. I get that. <sighs> well, if my calculations are correct, though, uh, that brings me to two and you to mm -hmm. one, which makes me the winner. You got your order right, Ricky. What can uh, I say? Bring on the Slim Jim <laughs> smoothie. Let's do it. I hope I don't have to eat anything gross. Do I have to Does eat she? something gross? <laughs> Is it? Hey, Brooke here. Man, if you know me, then you would know that I like love coffee. You'll obviously see that I have like brownish, blonde hair color, and then you'll know that I'm like not great at sports at all. I actually have a secret gift of making a crazy dinosaur sound. <laughs> What are you known for? Maybe you hide money in your shoe so that none of your siblings will find it. Maybe you are a pet lover, like all the pets. You're gonna be a crazy cat lady when you grow up. Maybe you have an incredible singing voice. You are like a rock star soccer player. You're one of 12 siblings. You love eating pizza. But maybe you don't know. Maybe you're asking yourself, who am I? What am I good at? I have no idea. What I want you to know is that God does know because he created you. And the most important thing isn't what's on the outside. It's not our hair color, our eye colors, how much money. What really matters is what is on the inside. It's like this pinata. So on the outside, obviously, it's like fancy, smancy, like we've got all these bright colors, but that's not what's important. None of us care about what this pinata looks like on the outside. What we care about is what's on the inside. What really matters is what is on the inside of here. Like it's the inside that matters. This is where the good stuff is at. I want what's on the inside. Oh God. Ah! The inside! Servers! Yes! This is actually really great. This is two different colors. Banana. Delicious. So this, what's on the outside is not what matters. This is the good stuff. This is what matters. Psalm 139. Search me, God, and know my heart. When you're asking yourself, who am I? You simply ask that same question to God and he will begin to show you who you are. It's simply God. Who have you created me to be? What are those gifts and talents that are in the inside? As you ask God, He will begin to show you who He's called you to be. So stop worrying about what's on the outside. Go Hi, I'm the internet, but you can call me Rebels. I just wanted to say that I can't tell you who you 
why? I don't know you! A lot of you guys keep coming to the search bar and asking me, Who am I? Or, Who am I supposed to be? One of you keeps searching, How to be a real life Spider-Man? <sighs> Look, you shouldn't be looking here! When it comes to being yourself and answers about who you are, Stop asking me! I'm just the internet! So, look somewhere else! Okay! Unpause! Die! Requirements 1. Learn to listen 2. Include everyone 3. Be yourself or get out I don't want to eat something disgusting I hope I get something that's like amazing, like a Fabergé egg Would you really want a Fabergé egg? I would love a Fabergé egg Jamie? Yes? You don't happen to eat anything weird this time Yes! Oh, Ricky, we heard this is your favorite snack Okay, next to the Fabergé egg, this is the best thing. Ah, I love movie theater popcorn. You want some? Oh, yes, you have the first piece, you are the winner. Thank you. Yeah, yes. every time I go to the movie, I have to get the popcorn. Sometimes I'll just go to the movie theater and just get popcorn and leave. Seriously? Yeah, I like buckle up a bucket of popcorn and just drive off into the sunset. It's, That's so cute. It's my favorite. Yeah, I love popcorn and cherry Coke when I go to the movie theater. I feel like we got to know each other a little bit better this week. And it's a good reminder that God knows our heart better than anyone. Yes, so our challenge to you is to respect each other. Be who God created you to be. And until next time, enjoy, enjoy the ride. ride! You want to learn how to do the perfect high five first time every time? Yes! Look at your high five's elbow. Oh, okay. One, two, Ooh. three. Whoa! Yeah, every perfect. time. Oh my goodness, do you want to learn how to do the perfect subscribe? <gasps> yes. Click right here. <gasps> Click. Every time.